I call Denise Roche on a five-minute call from the Green Party. Thank you, Mr Speaker. As my colleague Julie Yan Genta um, has already said, the Greens intend to support this bill to select committee. She's already talked about how this bill fits with our vision on tax and monetary policy. So I'll just talk in general about the bill as well as how it could be helping working people in New Zealand. One of the key effects of this bill is to update the tax law to place electronic communication on the same footing as paper communication and other speakers have said it's a bit of modernisation. We support this, this is a good change that will see um, um, it will spare lots of Kiwis from the tedious, kind, time-consuming and uh, environmentally wasteful processes of sending in paper copies. I have to say, as the only waste spokesperson on, in any party in Parliament, I would be remiss if I didn't say that uh, in New Zealand we have the second highest waste, waste emissions per capita uh, in the developed world, so any little bit of effort around reducing that would certainly be appreciated, and, and it's certainly appreciated in this bill. Um, we support the provision that allows easier management of the tax implication for employee share purchase agreements. We know that this only applies to a small section of working people, but we support the idea of worker-led, worker-owned companies and genuine economic industrial democracy. We support working people being able to save and invest so that they cre create opportunities for themselves and their families. However, as I mentioned, these provisions in this bill only apply to a very small section of people in the workforce. What would really help most New Zealanders is secure jobs with living wages, with decent working conditions so that they and their families can reap the rewards of the Kiwi dream. That is, if you work hard, you will get ahead in this country. And I guess what would really help most working people in this country to save and invest is a Kiwi Saver kickstart um, payment system, but this government's already, uh, already cut that, or even maybe payments for kids. But apparently, uh, the government's response to Kiwi Saver has actually reduced the number of Kiwi Saver enrolments by more than half, according to the ANZ Bank. However, the Greens, we support the provisions in this bill that will help the minority of working people save and invest by making it easier to participate in employee share schemes. But I encourage the government to work with us on making bigger steps um, to making sure that we have a balanced New Zealand economy that benefits everyone. And finally, the bill's provisions on information sharing make it easier to check for worker exploitation, and we support that. Clause 117 means that Inland Revenue Department and MB WorkSafe can communicate and share information, which will make monitoring and enforcing health and safety legislation, for example, so much easier. And you know, I recognise that there are some restraints that we should place around sharing of information. But it will be easier to detect whether people are being unlawfully underpaid or having their wages deducted. And this is a problem, and I refer to a regulatory impact statement from the Employment Standards Bill which says, and I quote, there's a high level of non-compliance with employment standards, such as employees having paid, being paid less than the minimum wage, not receiving annual holiday entitlements and not having employment agreements. And 17% of respondents to the Statistics New Zealand Survey of Working Life in 2012 reported that they were not receiving at least one of these minimum employment standards. And that's shameful. It's a shameful indictment that nearly one in five Kiwis in paid jobs aren't getting the bare minimum. And it's a damning indictment on the climate of fear that this government has created through their industrial relations pol policies. And we've seen that climate of fear um, supported and um, promoted by this government time and time again with the changes to the health and safety legislation, to the changes to the employment relations bill, to the changes they made for the Hobbit movie with the 90-day trials, with youth rates. Sir, it doesn't have to be with this way. This bill proves that the government is capable of making positive, small steps forward for working people, and we would certainly encourage them to work with us to make more of them.